Hi guys, welcome back to another Top X video. Today, as suggested by a viewer, we're going to talk about the best sounding keyboard switches of all time. I should specify a few things before we begin. First of all, sound is obviously rather objective, even more so than the previous topics we looked at. Hence why some people like damp and tactile or rubber dome switches, and others like hell-raising clicky switches. But these are the ones I like most of all, and to elaborate, I mostly like deep-sounding thocky switches and clicky switches. Second, the sound a keyboard makes is determined not just by the switches, but also by the chassis and keycaps, among others, which gives potential for a limitless amount of combinations. Hence, I'm only going to focus on native combinations, commercial, non-custom keyboards that come with these switches right out of the box. And finally, modifications are out. A common one is to apply lubricants or O-rings or swap stems or whatever to modify the sound and feel, but all that is off the table. Otherwise, you end up with way too many factors. Here, we're only talking about a switch's unmodified sound quality. Also, because sound is such an important aspect of this list, there will be a short typing demonstration of each switch in which I'm not talking over the typing sounds. Kicking off the list, at number 7 we have Amber Omron B3GS switches, an uncommon Alps-inspired clicky switch. Apart from being one of the most unreliable switches I've ever seen, it's also easily one of the clickiest. The noise these things make is just unbelievable. It's much like Alp switches on steroids, they're just so loud. The type of sound is also a little bit different, I've found it to sound quite a lot like frenzied staplers. It's a pretty cool sound, I like it a lot, although if you're in a shared office you'll probably find co-workers plotting your untimely demise very soon. Next up at number 6 we have IBM Membrane Buckling Springs. Known for their inclusion in perhaps the most famous keyboard of all time, the venerable Model M, membrane buckling springs are a simplified, cheaper version of IBM's earlier designs. In my top best list I've already featured IBM's capacitive buckling and beam springs, which both feel a lot better than the later membrane buckling springs, but both of those have a rather pingy, twangy noise. It's quite entertaining, especially to show to other people, but in truth the sound is more of a novelty than anything else. While the Model M still has that characteristic pingy component of buckling springs, the overall typing sound is a lot thockier and bassier. Although almost everyone prefers the feels of the Model F over that of the Model M, quite a few people consider the Model M's typing sound to be a little bit better. Then at number 5 we have a very obscure switch that I'll be reviewing at some time in the future, Cherry Solid State Capacitive. This is actually a fancy name for Cherry Foam and Foil, but admittedly it's one of the best feeling and certainly best sounding foam and foil switches I've encountered so far. It uses a very curious shamrock mount and an even weirder whatever shape for the foam and foil pad, but it seems to work for them somehow because it sounds pretty deep. Next up, at number 4, we have NMB Hi-Tech Series 725 Space Invaders switches. One of the weirdest looking switch designs around, they made these in several clicky, tactile and linear versions and all of them sound great. They have an exceptionally tautly held construction which also makes them by far the least wobbly switches I've ever seen, and it gives them an incredibly deep and bassy sound. I'm going to demonstrate both a linear and a clicky version.
A lubed version of this that I reviewed a while ago in particular gets non-stop praise for its sound. Now I know lubed is disqualified of course, and by no means did the Switch get onto this list because of this, but I figured I shouldn't rob you of a small taste of that as well. Entering the top 3, next up we've got an outrageously hard to get hold of switch, Fujitsu Tactile Magnetic Reed. This design also made it into my top 5 best tactile switches video, as it has a really cool tactile feel to it, and for all of you custom keycap fans out there, it also accepts MX mount keycaps. There's also an exceptionally good linear variant, and overall I'd say this is probably one of the all round best non clicky switch designs of all time. Magnetic reed switches have an interesting trait, which is that upon magnetization the reed contacts snap shut, and upon release they make this cute little ting sound that underlies all reed switches. The switch's tall height, dense construction and heavy parts, never mind the densest keycaps ever made, give this switch a very bassy sound, it's pretty exquisite. The spacebar in particular sounds almost like subsonic thumping. At the second spot on this list we have what's maybe a bit of a surprise, Scorpius Dome with Slider. Sound wise, it is in my opinion by far the best rubber dome switch ever made, where most of you would probably expect Topra. However, I'd say it simply destroys Topra in terms of sound, because Topra is actually quite muted, and sounds more along the lines of a classic rubber dome board. The Scorpius domes are not muted at all, they're quite loud in fact, but that's what really brings out the sound in them. It's really nice and full, very round and bassy, it's a delight to listen to. These switches made it into my best tactile switches list as well, in a shared spot with Topra and BTC dome with slider, but of the three, these are definitely the best sounding in my opinion, much less rattly than Topra for example. And finally, at number one, we have what I'm sure half my viewers saw coming from a mile away, the entire Alps SKCL SKCM catalog. I could fill the whole top 15 with just these switches, but that wouldn't be very exciting or interesting, or even fair for that matter, so I decided to collapse them into one spot. These switches are simply the best sounding I've ever heard, it's so deep and full and satisfying, there's none better. They are delectable and bodacious. But hey man, don't take my word for it, I'll let the keyboards do the talking.